Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to promote affiliate products on Google Ads in 2022. This method that I'm going to show you here is going to be the most cost efficient method, the most safest, and also the most effective method in general. And I'm gonna show you everything here as you guys watch behind my shoulder. This is what allows me to generate a full-time six-figure profit every year and be able to work from anywhere in the world as long as I have my laptop. So I'm gonna show you absolutely everything here in this video. Now you might be asking why Google? Because they have a ton of users. They have 4.3 billion users worldwide and that's half of the world's population. So you're gonna reach a lot, a lot, a lot of people. The main reason why I like Google specifically is because you can give people what they are looking for. So you will be using something called keywords. So you can target people that are searching for something specific. So if you're selling children's books, you can target people who are specifically looking for children's books and you can give it, give it to them. So it's a more subtle approach to marketing. You're just giving people what they're looking for, but at the same time, it's very, very effective. It is one of my favorite paid ad networks in addition to Microsoft ads, which follows the same tactic. Now, just to give you a little encouragement, a little motivation, uh, this is one of my ClickBank accounts. And if I go to paychecks, just to show you what's possible from just one affiliate network, and if I refresh the page, as you can see here, I made 135,000 US dollars last year doing affiliate marketing, including on Google ads. And this year is, is a little bit slow. So I've only made about 15,000, but it's going to pick up during the rest of the year. And there are also other affiliate networks I'm using, such as Digistore and Max Bounty. But this is just to give you an idea of what's possible. If you follow the method I show here in this video, you will be able to start seeing results and start making money as well. Now, just to give you a heads up, this isn't an overnight millionaire method. You will not be rich tomorrow. This will take time to build up. You will have to put in the work, absolutely. As you follow my steps, you will have to keep adding stuff and keep working on it, okay? But if you can put in the work at least, you know, 30 minutes a day, that would be great. And you will start seeing results, all right? So enough of this, I'm gonna close out of that, I'm gonna close out of this. Uh, this is going to be our test account that we'll be using. And we're going to go through the steps here to start doing affiliate marketing on Google ads. Now, before I continue, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It's really going to help me out and it's going to help you out by ensuring that you're not going to miss any, any of my content. I post a lot of make money online content and a lot of tutorials on various online marketing software tools that can really help you make money online. All right. So that said, let's get straight into it. What are we waiting for? So step one, the first thing we have to do is find a product, okay? So what we're gonna do is head over into Marketplace here in this account. And what I like to do is click on this little magnifying glass, which will pull up all the products right away. And you can see all these products here, you know, Gluco Trust, Gluco Forward, Dentitox, anything. Honestly, we can pick whatever we want, it doesn't really matter. I do like to go with products that pay out over $100 in commission. These are kind of my favorite ones. Um, so we could go with, let's see, I think we did Exapure before, Java Burn, we did that. What is Gluco Trust? Let's take a look and see. So what you wanna do is you do want to go in there and kind of take a look and see what the product is before you actually promote it. You wanna make sure the page looks good and things like that. Um, so what if we do, let's suppose, Dentitox for this. This is one simple way to maintain your perfect smile, okay? So we can go with this option here, Dentitox. It pays out over $100. If you want to know exactly what stats I'm looking for to select winning ClickBank products, I do have a video on that in the description. Check it out. I show you exactly how to find winning products. For the purpose of this video, let's suppose we want to promote this one. Okay, so it's called Dentitox. So that's step one. Step two now is we have to create a landing page or website. The safest, safest, safest way to promote on Google Ads is to actually have a full-scale website with different blog posts, with different articles, things like that. And so that's what we're gonna be doing here in this video. You can still use a landing page if you have a lot of content on it and a lot of information about the product. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna be creating a website because that is the safest, safest, safest approach and you can keep adding content to it. So in order to create our website, there are a bunch of different hosting and domain providers. I'm just gonna tell you what I personally use and that is Namecheap. I've been using them for five years. So if you go to go.ivanmana.com slash Namecheap, which is my affiliate link, 
but you're not going to be paying extra and you will in fact get special discounts by using this link. And so this is the page, as you can see here, it has lots of lots of lots of different promotions you can use depending on what you're looking for. We are actually going to go with this option here, WordPress hosting and start the free trial. So if you click over here, uh, we're going to be using easy WordPress, which is going to allow us to very quickly create a WordPress website and it's going to be up and running in absolutely no time. Okay. And then from here on, you can click on see pricing and plans to see the different options here that they have, or you can just scroll down. And as you can see, you get the first month completely for free. All right. So like I said, the most cost efficient approach, you don't have to pay a hundred dollars for a landing page builder, things like that. Uh, it's very simple and we're going to do everything here. So the package I like to go with is actually this one, Easy WordPress Turbo, just because they give you a free SSL and the SSL is what makes your web page secure. So like over here, you see that little lock. So they're going to give you a free certificate to give you that lock, right? So we're going to click on try for free. You might have to log in and create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to whip up my verification code real quick and then I'll see you on the next page. And so once you log in and or create an account, if you haven't, you'll see something like this. So as you can see, $0, all right, uh, you, you can select your payment method. I'm going to click on confirm payment. And so our free trial ends April 13th. After that, it's still very, very cheap. It's not going to be expensive at all. So the next thing we have to do is name our site. So we're promoting this product, Dead Detox. Now, for the website, what we're going to do is we're not only going to create this product, right? So this is about teeth. So maybe we want to create a website that's generally talking about teeth, right? And then we can also go to ClickBank and we can also find other products related to teeth or related to health. And then we can write posts about them. So in this case, maybe we can say, for example, the name of the site, let's say healthy teeth. We can click continue. So you don't have to buy a domain in this case. Uh, they're giving you a free domain, which is going to look like this. It's not very pretty. So you could click on your domain on Namecheap and you can buy a domain or you can use the domain from another provider if you have it. So if you bought your domain, maybe on GoDaddy, you will be able to connect it. Namecheap will tell you exactly how to do it. For the purpose of this video, we're going to go with this free option here, but I will show you where to add your domain later on if you do decide to buy it. So I'm going to click on continue. Uh, you can choose a theme or we can skip it. We're just going to leave it as is here. And then I'm going to show you how to obviously change the thing. So we're going to click on continue. Uh, I do like Yoast SEO. They will help you with the search engine optimization. Everything else we don't really need. I'm going to click on continue. And this just verifies everything. It's good. We're going to click continue. Now we might have to give it a minute or two for this site to load. And then after that, it's going to be up and running. We'll be able to go in there and we'll be able to actually make, make edits. So I'm going to pause the video here for a minute or so, probably way less. And this site should be up and running very soon. I'll see you in a bit. And that took like 10 seconds. All right. So it's up and running right now. If we click on the site, it's going to look like this. So it's ready to go. And obviously we're going to go in and we're going to change it up. But congratulations. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you followed along with me so far and created this site. That's a big step, right? So very soon. Now uh, we're going to click on manage here. And I'm just going to show you a few things here before we actually go on. So the updates are pretty much automatic here for WordPress. If you're using this very easy to do, here's the domain. So if you do decide to change your domain, if you buy another one, even from Namecheap, which they have some of the cheapest domains that I've ever come across and I've compared across different platforms and Namecheap in my experience has some of the cheapest domains. So if you click on change here, you can go in and you can get, uh, you can add the domain that you bought or you can use another provider and they'll give you the steps. All right. Again, like I said, we're just going to keep that domain. That's fine. We're going to scroll down here. You can change your plan. You can change your payment. If you click on manage, you will be able to stop the trial. So you don't auto pay things like that, whatever you want to do. Okay. And these are just your subscriptions here under the Namecheap account. We're going to close out. And that is pretty much it. The SSL certificate is active as you can see here. So our website is secure. Again, if we click on here, as you can see, it's got that little lock, right? Which is important. Because if the lock wouldn't have been there, even some antivirus programs could have said, hey, this is a risky website, don't go here, and you'll just be missing out on traffic. So we're going to close out of that. So now what we want to do is we want to actually add some blog posts, right? And we want to make the site look prettier. So we're going to click on WordPress admin, give it a second to load. You also want to make sure you stay to the end of the video, guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to actually get results a little bit faster and run ads to your website on Google ads. All right. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step in this very video so that you can start seeing results a little bit faster. So this is your 
dashboard for the site, okay? So whatever changes you make here on this dashboard will be reflected directly on your website. So let's open up your site. I'm gonna right click and click open a new tab. This is gonna be our site and we're gonna go in and we're gonna make changes and uh, you will see them live right here as we refresh the page. By the way, if you wanna log in to this page, if, you're, if you have to log out, you have to leave, then you have to come back. Uh, the way you do it is simply go to Namecheap. So go to Namecheap.com, log in, and you will be able to access easy WordPress from there, from your Namecheap account. And then from here, you're just gonna, you know, if you click, go to easy WordPress, like your main dashboard, once you log in, you will see your list of websites here. You can click on your website and then you can click on admin to actually manage it. And here it is. And so you can click manage or you can click WordPress admin and you will get right back to this interface, okay? So very easy. You don't have to remember any passwords or anything aside from the Namecheap one. So that's why this is my favorite option, especially for beginners. So again, this is our site. So let's fix a few things first. So the first thing I like to do is go into appearance and go into themes. And I like to create a better looking theme. So we're gonna click on add new here. And there are a lot of themes, okay? So there are 4,720 popular themes, but then if you go to latest, you'll see there are 9,351. So you could go through all of them and find something that you like. So for example, if you wanna look at what this looks like, you can click preview and it's gonna look like this, which actually looks pretty good. Uh, you can also add an image, I guess the image would be at the top. This actually looks really good, I like this one. Uh, but you can go through the rest and see what you like. Obviously, like I said, there are you know almost 10,000 of them, so I'll leave that up to you. Uh, for the time being, I'm gonna click this one because it actually looks pretty good. And it's we're gonna give it a second to install. We're gonna activate it. And then we can go in and we can make a few changes to it to actually make it look good, right? So if we refresh this page now, Boom, it already looks a little better. It looks a little more professional, right? So what we can do is we can add like a little image at the top. We can change all these things around. We can obviously add a blog post. Instead of hello world, we can write a review post about Dentitox Pro. Or we could go the more subtle approach and we could write something else. We could say, hey, how do you maintain a perfect smile? You know, or how do you have good teeth? How to maintain good teeth? And then we can write five steps or something to help people maintain good teeth. And at the end, we could say, hey, if you want a faster result, check out this site, you know, check out this page and this product, and then we can send them to this link, all right? So this is like a very subtle approach, right? A really subtle approach to promote on Google. So this is the page so far, let's come back here. So let's click on customize and we're gonna go in and we will change some things around. For example, header image. We can go in here, we can add an image. So it's recommended 1400 by 210. So we can click on add new image and I don't have anything. So let's go to, let's say, pixabay.com. It's a free image site. And we could say, let's say good teeth. Let's see if we can find something. Um, that doesn't look good. Okay, let's try pixels.com. Let's type in good teeth here, see if we get something. Um, <laughs> We could use one of these, you know, Maybe something like that shows more of the skin as opposed to teeth, I think. There's this lovely gentleman here. There's that. <laughs> we could use this. Um, yeah, so maybe something like this, right? Let's use this as an example. I'm not gonna spend too much time here, um, but I just wanna show you how it's done. So that's fine. So let's come back here and we are going to upload file. We're just gonna dra drag it here. Give it a second to load. And then we're gonna select and crop. We have to crop it because not everything's gonna show. Now you could make it, sometimes you could drag this and make it a little bigger. In this case, it doesn't allow you to. So we can just do something like this. Again, this is just an example. You can go in, find a better image, right? But we'll just keep it like this for now. And it doesn't fully show up for some reason. So let's click publish and see what happens. Maybe it's because we have this here at the top. Maybe we should remove that. So let's go back. If we go to site identity, uh, we don't want to say just another WordPress site, so we're going to delete that. Uh, healthy teeth, you can leave it here if you want. If you remove that, it's not going to show. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here with the image. It usually doesn't do that. Let's refresh. Yeah, so I'm not sure what happened there, but that's just something we could figure out. Let's see, hide image. Yeah, sorry guys, I don't know why it's not showing, but usually it does. So maybe it's a bug or maybe we have to select some option here. I don't know but I've done this like 20 or 30 times by now and the image has always showed up, all right? So in your case, it will probably show up if you select a different template, but that's okay for the time being. Let me just show you some other stuff. If we go into menus, 
uh, we, we can click on create new menu. We can give it main menu. And that's this menu here at the top, right? We can make it the primary menu, click next. And then we can add items here. Okay, now this, this shows up. So if we click on items, we can add home page, we can add sample page, we can also add new pages. So we can say, for example, about me or about us, we can click add. You can also say contact us page and you can click add. And then this is where you would add your email or add some information about you as a company. So sample page, by the way, we probably don't want. So I'm gonna delete that page, but let's say these three are good, right? And then yeah, we can click publish. All right, so I went in and clicked publish. And as you can see, you have all these menu options here. And if you click on them, you will be able to fill in these pages, all right? So I'll show you where exactly you can actually fill these in and write about yourself and stuff like that. And this is your homepage. So this is where you will have all the different blog posts. And I'm gonna show you how to create blog posts as well. You can also click on any of these little pencil icons to edit that setting. So for example, if you wanna edit where the search appears, you can click here and now it's gonna tell you, you know, how to move the widgets. If you click over here, for example, you can go in and change the site title. So things like that. Um, I think the site looks pretty good aside from the image for some reason not showing up. But if we refresh, we should see now all these options here about me, contact, all that, okay? So if we come back here, let me first go to pages. And here are all your pages, okay? So you have the about me page that we created, the contact us page and the sample page. So if you click on edit for the about me page, for example, uh, we're gonna use the editor. Uh, sure, let's close out of that. We can say, I absolutely love teeth and my whole career is based around teeth. Um, in this blog, you know, or on this website, on this website, I love showing you new stuff about teeth. Okay, so let's just say something like this. Let's click update just to show you what it's gonna look like. Then we can go back to WordPress. I'm gonna click that little W there at the top. And then if we go to about me, you will see it look like this. Now it's not gonna have edit here on the actual page. It won't say edit. It just says edit because we're locked in, but that's the idea. So let's go back. And so that's what it's gonna look like, all right? So again, you can pick from any number of different themes, guys. You don't have to stick with this one. I'm just showing you how to go about it, right? You can do the same with the contact us page. You can click on edit and you will be able to edit information there. What you can also do is click on add new and you will be able to create a new page, whatever it is you want. And so that's the idea. Now, one more thing over here, you see it says the author is focus ambition. That's because that's my username. So if you wanna change that, all you guys are gonna do is click on users right here on the, on the left. You can click edit and we're just gonna change my username here. So from this, for example, to Yvonne, and then you can say display name publicly as Yvonne. That is it. And you're gonna scroll down, click update profile. And then that is what now what it's gonna show up. So if you click on pages, now it's gonna show Yvonne, okay? So just a little something for you. So these are the pages, they are like standalone pages. Now, if you want to actually write the blogs, if you wanna add additional blogs, the way you do that is if you go to posts, and click on old posts, and then this is where you will be adding the posts and this is where we'll be doing most of our selling, right? So we can trash this one, we don't need that Hello World article. Instead, we're gonna click on add new. And you can go about this in several ways. So you could create a review article about Dentitox and you could say, hey, let me review Dentitox and see how good it is. You can pull up some templates from online that you find, you know, other people writing about this stuff. Um, or you can write just general information, like five tips for a healthy smile, you know, things like that. And then this is where you would actually write about it. So you could go both ways. You could and should ultimately do both of them. All right, but we can start here with the five tips for a healthy smile, just so I could show you roughly how to actually build from this and how to promote our affiliate product, right? So when you do stuff like this, what I can do is we can just copy this into Google, click enter and see what we can find. So five tips for achieving a healthy smile in 2021. Let's look at this here article. So what you would do is you would look at this, you would summarize it, you know, read it in your own words, things like that. And that's how you would go about it. So for example, tip number one here, it says, let's bring this here. Uh, tip number one, brush properly twice a day, right? So we can say tip number one, brush your teeth. Let's not say at least, but let's say twice a day. And then we can have some information here. And then for this one, we can, we can make it a different heading. So we can make it heading two here, or we can make it a little bit smaller, heading four. And then we can say, to keep your teeth healthy, you 
have to take care of them by brushing them twice a day. And then you can go in and you can add information about why that's important, how it prevents cavities, how you should do it, especially after you eat sweets, things like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to rush through this and add some basic stuff. Um, it is your job though, once you actually write this, to add as much as possible, right? To have something worth reading. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go in and write some basic stuff to give you an idea, and I will see you in a few minutes. A few moments later. All right, and so there you have it. I added some basic tips, added all my own information. It's important for you guys not to plagiarize. As you can see here, I just took a look at the headline, found what was important, and just wrote my own stuff. And then you can also do more research. So for example, you could look up an article as to why exactly flossing is important. What are some other benefits? You know, you can go into more detail on gingivitis. These are just some things that I personally know myself in this case, but if you wouldn't have known about this, what you would do is just go through this and find something like, for example, after brushing food and plaque and get stuck. So you can go and do more, uh, do more research as to what is plaque, you know, how to get rid of plaque. What are some ways to maintain healthy teeth? And you can keep adding it here. So things like that. And that is the idea. So we've added this post here. Now, how do we actually tie this into our affiliate product? That's the million dollar question. So what you could do is you can go the little subtle approach and you could add a bonus tip number six, for example. You could say, you can say bonus tip number six, and then we can say use special vitamins and supplements, all right? And then we could also make this adding four, or maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. We can make it, you know, stand out a little bit more. And then this is where we could tie in our product. And we can say, there are many different supplements you can take for your general health and also your teeth. One such product is called Dentitox Pro, and it can really help your teeth look great, okay? And then what we can do is we can link to the software, right? So we can go in here, we can click on promote, we can click on generate hoplink, and this is gonna be our affiliate link. We're gonna copy it. Come back here. If you want to learn more, simply check out their website by clicking here. Until then, keep on rocking and using the tips described earlier, okay? And then we can say, check out their website by clicking here. We can select this all. We can add a link and we can paste it here, right? And this is our ClickBank link right there. And so if somebody clicks here, they will go to this page and then if they buy, we're gonna make money, okay? Now, what we could also do is we don't want this to be at the very top. We could also give little tips. So for example, over here, we can say PS. Want to speed up your results? Check out bonus tip number six, okay? And then we can maybe we can bold it or we can italicize it. Uh, I have to select each one individually. You can go like that. There you go, okay? And so here we're kind of giving them a little hint, right? To For people that wanna speed up their results, they can go in here and they can check this stuff or this tip. And that's the idea, right? So we're gonna click on publish here. We're gonna click, click publish. And let me just show you what it's gonna look like here. So if we go back on our page, we're gonna click refresh. And boom, right? This is our first article post, uh, five tips for a healthy smile. If we click here, we can scroll down and we can see everything, right? And obviously, again, you guys can make it look prettier, right? So take your time, like I said, at least 30 minutes a day, the more the better. And over time, it's gonna grow. Over time, Google is gonna pick you up using search engine optimization. It's gonna pick you up uh, and you will naturally get free traffic, right? Free people coming here. And uh, again, right here's tip number six. And then if people scroll down, they click here, guess what, they're gonna go to this page, all right? And if they buy, you will make money. Now, what you could do is we could make this open up in a new tab if you want. So we can click edit and we can say open a new tab. And now that's gonna open a new tab. What we could also do is we can add an image. So if we click on post here, we can click on featured image. We can add a little image here. So five tips for a healthy smile. Let's say we wanna use this same thing. We're gonna use that. We're gonna click update. And if we refresh this page, there should be an image now at the top like that, right? So it just adds a little flavor to it. If we go back to the home page, uh, now there's gonna be a little image here, right? And that's the idea, guys. So you're just gonna keep adding these posts, right? You'll keep adding them over time again. Google's gonna pick you up and you will start seeing results. And if people click on it, 
they scroll down, they will be able to buy. Now, if you want to speed up your results, if you don't want to wait for organic traffic, as you keep adding more and more of these posts, you can use Google ads. All right. So you can do that. And so to use Google ads, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to ads.google.com and you're going to log in. And then once you log in or start now, if you don't have an account, I'm going to show you how to create an ad to run to this page. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And by the way, they have a special offer. If you spend 600 Canadian dollars, in this case, you will get $600. So really, really good deal going on right now. So if you don't have an account, click on start now. What I'm going to do is quickly sign in and I'm going to show you how to actually promote this on Google ads to start seeing faster results. All right. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. And so here I am inside my Google ads dashboard. So once you're here, um, I'm just going to show you exactly how to create a campaign to this page. Right. And we're going to be targeting people that are searching for healthier teeth. And once they read this post, uh, they'll be able to also click on our affiliate link. Now, like I said, you want to put more information, right? So you want to make it something worthwhile because if people come here and they only see a few words, it's probably not very trustworthy. So you want to add as much information as you can. I'm going to close out of this page. Let's come back here. So the first thing you want to do once you're inside your Google ads dashboard, click on this little plus sign there or click on create campaign. And we're going to create a search campaign, which is going to be, like I said, the easiest way, right? You'll be giving people what they want. So we're going to click on website traffic and we're going to go down. We're going to click on continue and we want search ads and we're going to enter our business name. So our business name is this one. We're going to go in, we're going to copy it. Hopefully you did buy your own custom domain. So it looks better than that. But if you didn't, that's okay. We're going to paste it here. We're going to give this a campaign name. So we'll say Denty Talks blog, something like that. We're going to click on continue. We're going to enter a budget, enter whatever you want. The more you spend, the faster you'll get the data. What do you want to focus on? Uh, we're going to select a bid strategy here, not recommended. We're going to go with manual CPC. So keep in mind, some of the suggestions that Google gives you are suggestions for Google to make more money, not for you. Okay. So just keep an eye out for that. For example, this one, we're going to deselect it under more settings. Um, you can leave this as is. I usually go with do not optimize so that I have control and I can go in and change up the ads accordingly. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to click on next for the search network. I do not want to display it on Google display network. This is going to show ads on Google partnered websites. So you probably don't want that. You want to show it only on search partners. That means on websites like askjeeves.com, you know, things like that, that also have search bar for people to put stuff in because we want to give people what they're looking for, right? That's the idea of search ads. You can leave this on, not a big deal. If you want to promote only on google.com, you would check this off. And now you're only going to be promoting on google.com. So up to you what you want to do for location. I usually like to test with uh, tier one countries. So that's United States, that's Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, and New Zealand. These are tier one countries. They're considered to have the highest quality traffic. So we're going to go with these ones here. We are going to select presence people in or generally in your target locations. And we're going to leave that as is. If you guys want more detail on every single one of these, by the way, and if you want more detail on all these different options here, I do cover all this in my Google ads training course on my site at evonmana.com slash old dash courses. So take a look at that. If you scroll down, you will see a Google ads course. Uh, I think it's like a four hour course that goes through everything. So if that's what you want uh, for, for the purpose of this video, we'll just go through whatever is most important. So we're going to leave that as English. Everything else here looks good. We'll click next. Now for the default bid, this is saying how much are you willing to pay per click? So let's say I want to pay a maximum 20 cents per click. I'm going to say 20 cents. Keep in mind, you can change this later on. So you don't have to, you know, this isn't set in stone. As you find that you're not getting enough clicks or you're getting too many clicks, you can adjust this. So that's fine. So generally the rule of thumb is you want to create separate ad groups and you want to add keywords into each of these ad groups. For the purpose of this video, again, we're just going to stick to one and we're going to target people looking for, you know, how to have healthy teeth. So we can get an idea. Let's say how to have healthy teeth. We can say get keywords and we're going to get some keyword suggestions for this. We can go through this. So these look pretty good. So how to have healthy teeth, how to have healthy gums. So people searching for this, look, we're going to be taking them to our post on how to have a healthy smile, right? And maybe we want to make this a little bit smaller because the headline looks too big. So we might want to reduce the headline for that. But that's basically what we're doing. So let's come back here. So these look pretty good. Now stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to show you how to make even more relevant search results. 
but this is the idea. Uh, I also do suggest that you go into tools and settings and you use the keyword planner. I have a different video for that. Check out that video again. It's a whole separate beast where you have to do keyword research and I show you exactly how to do that. For the purpose of this video, this is more than enough. These are very good keywords. They're very long tail keywords, which means three words or more. And they're very, very detailed, okay? So um, this looks good here. Let's name this ad group. Let's name this. We're targeting how to have healthy teeth. That's the name of this ad group. That looks good. And this way, if we create different variations of different ad groups, we will be able to just take a quick look at this ad group and we'll know exactly what is contained in this ad group, what types of keywords, right? So that's why we're doing it like that. So we're gonna scroll down. Last but not least, this is where we're gonna actually create the ad, okay? So this is what's gonna show up for the people on google.com when they type in things like how to get healthy gums fast. So let's go with this first keyword here, how to have healthy teeth. So we can say, Headline one, we can try how to have healthy teeth. Okay, we can do that. Now, another thing we can do is five tips for a healthy smile. So we can just go off our exact title for the five tips for a, uh, I like to title case everything for a healthy smile. We can do that. We can take another one of these keywords and let's say how to have healthy gums, how to have strong teeth. So we can try. So I, I think this is enough because it'll be split testing these variations, right? And then what I like to do is I like to ensure that this is in title position one right here. I don't want this to be in headline three, for example, because whatever people are searching for, I want that to show up at the very, very start for them. So I'm gonna go in here, pin, click on show in position one, and this one show in position one as well. So now Google is going to be testing these two options. It's gonna test either this one in position one or the other one in position one, okay? And we'll be able to see which one does better. Now for headline two, I like to include a call to action. So read, more here, for example, or get started now. And then this, we're gonna pin to position two. And now it's gonna be in position two. And this is what our ad's gonna look like. Let's look up on desktop. So as you can see here, all these different variations, right? And then headline three, I do like to add something about the product. So we can come in here, right? We can take a look and see kind of what this is. There's nothing too crazy, but we can say, for example, um, let's say sixth bonus tip as well, or something like that. And we're gonna show in headline three. Obviously, as you write more, you will have more information. You'll be able to describe your blog post. You know, what is it? Is it 100% all natural? Is it, you know, money back guarantee or things like that? Money back guarantee doesn't apply here because this is just a blog post, but you could say, for example, 100% all natural. So let's say 100% all natural ways to keep healthy teeth, right? And by the way, the Dentitox offer is, I believe also, they also claim to be 100% all natural. So that's why we're adding that. This is, uh, yeah, if, if you read into it, I think it is. So let's come back here. So we have that, right? We have head headline one, headline two, headline three. Now we need the description. So now we can say something like, you have to take care of them. Um, so descriptions for how to keep healthy teeth. So let's say how to have a health, how to have healthy teeth. Um, check out this website to learn the five tips for how to have healthy teeth and gums, for example, okay? And then we can pin this to position one. Uh, position two, we can say five tips for a healthy smile. Get started now and read more about this. Something like that. And then we can actually, we can remove this pin because we can test both of these look fine to be in pin in position one or two. So that looks good. We can click on done. And this is gonna be our ad. These are our keywords. This is our bid. We can scroll down, click next. And we can add extensions. I'm not gonna do that here. It is not necessary to actually launch the ad. So I'm just gonna skip it. But if you do wanna learn how to do them, check them out in my training course. I cover every single one in very thorough detail. I'm gonna click next. So here we're just gonna review the campaign before publishing, make sure everything looks good. It says here, no traffic expected. So we, we can either add more keywords, we can adjust the bid, things like that. What I do suggest is you do start with a low bid and then when your ad is approved, if you're seeing that you're not getting any impressions or you're not getting enough impressions, as many as you'd like, then you can go in and increase the bid. I wouldn't suggest setting too high of an initial bid. In our case, I think we said 20 cents because then if 
you will be paying more per click, then you might exhaust your entire budget in like an hour or so, right? So you wanna take it step by step. I do suggest starting a little first. So everything looks good here. We'll just click on publish campaign. We're just gonna ignore that message at the top because like I said, we can go in and we can change it as we go. So that is it. Here is our ad group. Here is our campaign. If we click on it again over here, uh, let's click on all campaigns. And if we click on campaigns here, you should see your campaign right here. And there's the budget. Here is the ad group. And then here is the actual ad. And then you can click on this little pencil icon here to edit it. And let me show you exactly how to uh, edit your keywords a little bit. I told you I, I will show you how to make your keywords more relevant. So if you go into keywords, right? Right now, all your keywords are on broad match, which means that if anybody types in anything remotely similar to what you have here, your ads will show up. So even if it doesn't have these words, if it's something like a game for better teeth, for example, if somebody types that in, your ad could show up, even though that's not what you're offering them, right? You're not offering a game for better teeth, but your ad might show up. So what you wanna do to make it more specific is you wanna select everything here, make sure you select everything. If you have more keywords, you'll see an option here that says, do you want to select all 400 keywords or however many you have? Then you're gonna click on edit. You're gonna click on change match types. You're gonna say change all match types. And you're gonna say, we wanna change broad match types. Or sorry, no, we wanna change match types to phrase. And you can do phrase or exact, they're much more specific. That means that the words have to be included. So if you select phrase, that means that these words must be in the search term for your ad to show up. And if there are more words, then that's fine. Your ad will still show. If you select exact, that means that somebody has to have these words, all these words in. So how to have healthy teeth exactly in the search term for your ad to show up in that order. But we're going to select phrase. We'll give it some leeway. And that is fine here. We're going to click on apply. And now these are going to change to phrase. And now, as you can see, they're all phrase. And so that's the idea. That's how you would go about doing this. And congratulations, you have successfully created your website. You created a blog post. You're going to keep adding blog posts. And as you keep doing that, Google is going to pick up on SEO and you're going to start getting free traffic. In addition, if you want some traffic right away, some traffic a little bit faster, congratulations on creating a Google ad because now you're going to get, you, you will have to pay for the clicks, but you will get much faster traffic of people coming in and seeing your page of people that are specifically looking for these things. All right. So congratulations. You went through a long way. And if you enjoyed this content, guys, definitely take a look at my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ivan I cover a lot of stuff just like this on how to make money online. You can see here everything, you know, Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, whatever it is you're looking for. I also have training courses that show you guys how to make money online. $3,500 plus a week using affiliate marketing. Check out my training courses, evonmana.com slash all dash courses. I have everything there you need to start making money online. So that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.